On today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to take a look at the Anbernic RG351V. Okay guys, we're back, and let me tell you a little story here while I get this unboxed just for the purpose of review. Obviously, I've taken this out of the box and played with it a bunch. I've had this for well over a week, really, really digging this RG351V handheld console. Don't really cover a lot of handheld consoles on my channel because I'm kind of picky. It's not really my preferred way to game it up, but when I saw all the positive reviews, I had to give this one a shot. The package that I ordered did come with a nice little Ambernick case, and obviously inside of the box we got some wipes as well as a nice uh, screen protector cover that we can go ahead and put on the screen. That's what's wrapped up right inside of there. Um, haven't put that on yet. And then of course it did come with the memory cards fully loaded with all the goodness. That's right, a lot of these devices do come preloaded with a whole ton of games for you to play and enjoy, plus instruction books, charging cable, and all that jazz. And although this is plastic mold with a wood grain uh, finish on it, I gotta tell you, it's spectacular. The wood grain, definitely the way to go. They do offer this in other versions. There's gray and black and transparent versions of the case uh, covering all the components here. But the wood grain just really caught me by surprise. And honestly, that's probably the number one reason why I bought it is that it just looks so cool. I mean, this thing really just pops, man. It just pops, look at that. Super Shark. Average retail price for these devices on AliExpress, and I'll have links in the video description below, are for about a hundred bucks. And for a hundred bucks, I think you're getting a heck of a lot with your purchase. We have a super sweet Linux system with built-in Wi-Fi and rumble. Got an awesome TF screen, 640 by 480 resolution, two memory card slots that can support upwards of 256 gigabytes of storage, multiple, langu multiple languages, have a six to seven hour battery, a three and a half inch IPS screen, and of course we do have the three and a half millimeter audio jacks as well if you wanna play, as well as uh, a little decent speaker built in as well to hear and play your games. In addition to all that, this thing is running an RK3326 SoC, and we do have the ARM Cortex A35 quad-core CPU clocked in at 1.5 gigahertz. We do have the uh, Mali G31 GPU at 650 megahertz, and it does have one gigabyte DDR3 RAM. Plenty of power to run a lot of the games that you wanna play, which we'll dive into here in just a minute. And of course, when it comes to the buttons and controls, the D-pad, the buttons, the, uh, the RB and the RT buttons on the back, especially with them being raised at different heights, everything in my opinion feels great. The 360 degree analog stick, feels spectacular nothing feels cheap or, or bad at least in my opinion and I'm really digging this and I really don't like handhelds and I'm really digging this taking a tour of course there is your power device and there you will also see the two memory card slots so we have both memory cards plugged in right here that came with the unit on the bottom are your USBs uh, ports, obviously for charging and things, and then your headphone jack, and there's your volume control on the left. And of course we have our bumper and trigger buttons on the back. And this thing looks a little funny on video, but when you hold it in your hand, I think this was a genius design. This feels great, the buttons feel great, and it just feels comfortable. I could hold this thing for hours, and I already have. And of course, when it comes to capturing footage of handhelds, the most difficult thing is trying to get these things on camera well. So apologies for any shakiness, apologies for any uh, glares. But as you can see, we can get a whole bunch of emulators on here using the MU ELEC uh, uh, software that they're using. Anything from MAME arcade games to your Capcom games. And of course, what makes uh, this really exciting, what my son likes the most about this, is uh, not only do we have that, but we have our Nintendo, our Game Boy, our Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, OpenBUR, Sega Genesis games, uh, Game Gear games, Mega Drive games, Dreamcast, Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket, PlayStation, PlayStation Portable, the list goes on and on. Tons of stuff you can play on here. 
when it comes to playing some of the uh, arcade games or even some of the other uh, systems on here, uh, you'll have to figure out the controls or map them, adjust the controls, etc. to fit your comfort level. For instance, here, fired up the main version of Mortal Kombat 2 and, of course, started getting my butt handed to me until I kind of figured out what I'm supposed to be doing with all these, uh, with the button layout. And, of course, when it comes to playing a lot of the 8-bit, 16-bit games, obviously you're not going to have any issues. This thing emulates those like a boss, whether you're playing Ninja Turtles. Super Mario Brothers, obviously still one of my favorite Nintendo games of all time. Here we are testing Super Nintendo game Diddy, Quest, Diddy Kong Quest. Now what's funny too is obviously these things come with preloaded cards for the most part, but there's already images out there in the world, guys, that you can go get. There's builds already made that'll really expand and add um, a whole lot more to this system for you. You're just going to have to go out there and find them. I can't tell you where to get them, but they're out there already. And uh, I haven't used any of them yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like them when I see them, knowing our community. And of course, Aero Fighters is on here, one of my favorite, favorite top-down vertical shooters of all time. I love Aero Fighters. Super excited to play it. And I didn't really think I'd enjoy Aero Fighters in handheld version until I started playing on this thing. This is super cool. And kudos to Ambernick. This thing can play PlayStation games, PSP games, Nintendo 64 games, and Dreamcast games. And who doesn't like Twisted Metal? God, we grew up with this game. We spent hours and hours and hours playing Twisted Metal and all its sequels. There are an absolute ton of reviews out there for this product already, and a lot of folks are saying this is possibly the best retro handheld device ever created. A retro handheld device that damn near does it all. Now, obviously, I haven't played enough of these Amber Nicks and Pow Kitty type devices in the past, so I can't say make that proclamation, but what I can say is it definitely appears that this handheld device does it all, and it's a blast. And of course, all the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance uh, games all run super awesome on here. You cannot complain, and uh, my son absolutely loves it. Uh, every time I don't have my hands on this device, he's stolen it from me because a lot of his uh, Pokemon and Fire Emblem games are on here, and he loves playing them on this versus the original hardware. So considering he grew up with that stuff and absolutely loves it, I'm going to take my kid's word for it and say that what he told me, Dad, this is awesome! So coming from a guy who's played a lot of video games in his life, a lot of handheld games, a lot of these handheld systems that you can run on here, uh, coming from a guy who doesn't really, hasn't really gotten his hands on these Ambernicks, Pow Kitties, all that other st stuff from overseas, always steered away from them, for this being my first experience uh, with an Ambernick device, I have to say I am super, super impressed. Would highly recommend this purchase. It's built great. It looks great. It runs pretty much all the games great. You will have issues on some games where it doesn't run everything. Uh, there could be some audio chopping on some of the N64 games, etc., Dreamcast games. But for the most part, the stuff works. Here I am trying to find the stupid accelerator button. Uh, but for the most part... <laughs> This is a super, super cool little handheld. Highly recommend it. And I think I'm going to keep my eyes on Amber Nick in the future to see what else they come out with. To see, can it get better than this? Because this is pretty, pretty darn good. Do me a favor, guys. I want to hear your thoughts. I'll have links and uh, product specs in the video description below. Do you guys like these? Do you guys have these? Do you guys want these? Are you guys not interested in these? Give me your honest opinions and feedbacks in the comments below. If you enjoyed the review, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, guys, thank you for subscribing.